Hey everybody, welcome to Kilmo's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, The Grudge of 2020. Not the 2004 version or whatever version came after that. So, for those of you who don't know, The Grudge is a movie, um, a Japanese actually, sorry, a Japanese movie, um, which they remade in America in 2004. Sarah Michelle Geller um, was in that one, and it's a very scary visually scary movie um, and I believe now what they're doing in 16 years later is remaking the movie um, so from what I understand the 2004 American version wasn't as good as the Japanese version never saw it but I saw a 2004 American version this is a 2020 American version but uh, very low ratings on IMDB so I don't expect it to be too good but I know it's kind of scary, and I know other people want to know what it's like, so I'm going to give you the, the stats on it. IMDB says it is not loading, so it must not be that good. <laughs> but I'll check into it and find out what the scores are. See, my phone's not even loading. But uh, let me look at it, find out what the scores are, uh, watch it for a little bit, give you a better idea of the synopsis, and then ultimately tell you what I think. My daughter is obviously not going to watch this movie with me. It is her birthday party. She's up having a cupcake. Show them the cupcake. Um, and I said, you can come down and watch me film the beginning of this while you eat your cupcake. But she will not be watching the film. I would not recommend it for any children. Um, so, there you go. But alright, let me get into it. Figure out what it's about. Give you a better idea of the synopsis. And then ultimately tell you what I think. So stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of The Grudge, and uh, sorry no check-ins tonight. I was about to check in, and I realized there was only 28 minutes left. I was trying to look for a good opportunity to share a little bit more about you. Know, I was trying to figure out what it was about, and then I realized, I was like, oh, there's only 28 minutes left, so might as well just wait to the end, so no check-ins. By the way, it was on IMDb 4.1, and I get it. Um, so if you've seen the original, there's no use watching this one at all. Stick with the original, move on, go forward. If you haven't seen the original and you like really scary stuff, you might want to check this out if you if you like you you really want to watch these kinds of movies, you're gonna probably want to watch it. Now, it is by no means close to the not the original, but the, the American Sarah Michelle Geller version. That one was creepy and scary and had you go. Now there are some images in this and there are some jump scenes so don't get me wrong but it's really subdued. It is not nearly anything that you, you would expect it to be or what I expected it to be. Um, and the story is poorly told. So the idea is is that they the one girl brought the grudge back from Japan when she was in a house back to her house into this one house and that that sets it all off um, they do two different stories I guess no three different stories in a sense so they have this lead detective new detective who is investigating something to do with the house John Cho who's in this if I haven't mentioned from Harold and Carmichael Carmichael <laughs> Harold and Kumar um, go to White Castle or whatever and and he's an American Pie, whatever. I like John Cho, right? He's an American Pie. Yeah, American Pie. Um, I like him. I do like him as an actor. He's in this. He's a real estate agent who is trying to sell the house or something like that. And it seems like there's different timelines. It's not the same timeline, um, but they don't make it clear enough for you to determine what's going on. But they also make it so poorly that you don't really care. Um, ultimately, there's ghosts, evil spirits in the house, and if you enter the house, they will haunt you. Uh, the end. Uh, really, that's what the plot line is about. And somehow, the two of them, the detective and him, blah, 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 blah. Really. Um, so, it's really about the scare scenes, the imagery, things like that. And in this one, if you've seen the first one, don't need to see this one. If you've never seen anything that you get 
the, when you close your eyes, you see different things, and you don't want that to happen. That happens in these kind, in this movie, but not that often. And if you like movies where you jump a little bit, you jump a little bit in this one. But again, there's a lot better films out there for you to get your scare on. <laughs> and I tell you what, to be honest with you, as you can tell, I'm a little tired. It's late at night, um, and I was falling asleep. These aren't the kind of movies that you normally fall asleep to. Well. I did. Uh, I rewound. I saw every moment, moment of it, but it wasn't that entertaining that I stayed awake for, or did they scare me enough that I'm watching it. So, there you go. That's all I got for you. Check it out. If you do check it out, I'm not telling you to check it out. I would not. Watch the first one. 2004. Ooh, real quick. Rewind really quick on this, because this takes place... I think it starts in 2004, moves to 2006, somewhere in that range. I mean, but they make it like it's 1996. So they got like computer monitors that are huge computer monitors. Well, I think in 2004 I had a regular, you know, now it's not as thin as my monitor is today, but regular monitors. Cell phones, I mean, they had the flip phones, right? But they even have like the, uh, the, wireless phones like they did in the 80s like so they really tried to and the cars too even looking at the cars the cars were they used were old they tried to it seemed like they they were trying to show hey this is in 2004 but it looks like it's 1984 see if you see that when you watch it if you do that's it i forgot to mention that one to throw that out there and if you do drop me comments whatever subscribe to my channel tell your friends and thanks for tuning in Kimmel's Irish Pub.